and give you a few definitions of what carbon steels are, what's going on, what the differences are. AISI, I'm, I'm truthfully not sure how far back, uh, came up with a number designation system that was four digits, or at least it was four digit based. Carbon steels typically in that spectrum start with a one. Really all that means is that it's a carbon steel. The second designation in carbon steels is typically a zero, and really what that's saying is that of the alloying elements that are potentially in a material, if you take all the percentages of those and add them together, this is what two digits really have to do with what the carbon content is. Typically, a carbon steel uh, is significantly higher carbon than what the stainlesses are for a few reasons. One of them is, is that the carbon has a tendency to tie up the chrome and increase corrosion and things like that. Since we're not dealing with any chrome, they've got elevated carbon for a little bit higher strength and a few other things. So really what it's saying here is if you took that grade and put a decimal point in front of it, what it's saying is nominally a 1018, which would be equivalent to like an A210A1, has approximately 0.18% carbon. The next step, which is the low alloys, I'll just call this carbon. And you notice I put low alloy in there because stainlesses are alloy steels too. Uh, kind of a pet peeve or a misnomer or whatever you want to call it. So consequently, these are are the branch that are referred to as low alloys. And the reason that is, is, is where, where you climb or drop or whatever you want to call it into the stainless is we're really not producing any kind of corrosion resistance at the level that the stainlesses are. This is where your T grades come in. So you have T11, T22, and really what that's giving you is, is it's tubing obviously, and if you put a decimal point in there, in between, the approximate chrome content in that alloy. Plymouth produces both those grades. We can also produce up to a T5, uh, but there's not much boiler application for T5. It's, it's kind of a grade that was skipped over. It was something that was developed from, from what I can figure back in the late 50s. It was used for a period of time, but then was crossed over with higher chrome grades and then into the stainless system.